While ice makers can vary from model to model, they operate on similar principles. In this video, we will address how an ice maker operates, as well as potential problems you may encounter. The three requirements for ice maker operation are incoming voltage, water supply, and temperature. Ice makers use 120 volts of alternating current to fill the tray and eject the ice cubes during the ice making process. The home's water supply line connected to the water inlet valve needs to provide water pressure between 20 and 120 pounds per square inch. For optimal ice making, the temperature should be 0 degrees Fahrenheit or lower, although the temperature may vary. When the appropriate temperature is reached, voltage is sent to the water inlet valve, which opens and allows water to flow into the ice maker's tray where the water begins to freeze. When the ice maker detects that the cubes of water are sufficiently frozen, the cubes are ejected into a storage bin. The ice maker refills with water and the cycle continues until the storage bin is filled to capacity. Common problems that can occur are the ice cubes being too small or hollow, or the ice maker not making ice at all. If the cubes are hollow or too small, the likely cause is insufficient water pressure to the inlet valve or a restriction in the valve itself. To help determine this, shut off the water supply, disconnect the supply line from the inlet valve, and hold the line over a bucket. Now turn the water supply back on and observe whether or not there is a strong flow of water jetting out of the line. A weak flow indicates a problem with the water line or the water supply valve. However, if the flow is strong, the inlet valve is most likely restricted and will need to be replaced. Trying to clean out an old valve is not recommended due to the risk of part failure after repair. If the ice maker is not making ice at all, first check to see if there is any water or ice in the tray itself. If there isn't any, it's possible that the fill tube has clogged with ice. You can thaw the fill tube by heating it with a hair dryer but be aware that a frozen fill tube is usually caused by insufficient water pressure or a defective inlet valve. The temperature may also be too high for the ice maker to produce ice, indicating a cooling problem within the appliance. If you determine that the temperature is below 10 degrees Fahrenheit, the ice maker itself is probably defective and will need to be replaced. Repair Clinic has a solution for many of the problems you may be experiencing with the ice maker. Enter your refrigerator's full model number in our website search engine for a complete list of compatible parts. Our site also has an extensive selection of instructional videos to assist you, covering topics like part testing, disassembly, and part replacement. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy.